In this video, I'll show you how to create catchments in AutoCAD Civil 3D. This drawing contains a surface. I've performed a preliminary analysis on the surface to determine discharge points for stormwater runoff. Then, I created a pipe network with a structure placed at each discharge point. The catchments I'm going to create will reference the structures. First, I'll create a catchment group. Click Create Catchment Group from the Catchments menu on the Analyze tab, Ground Data Panel. I'll name the catchment group and then click OK. The new catchment group appears in the Prospector tree. Next, I'll add a catchment to the group. When each catchment is created in this model, I want AutoCAD Civil 3D to analyze the surface terrain and then calculate the hydraulically most remote point. To do this, I'm going to use the Create Catchment from Surface tool. In the drawing, I'll click the discharge point. Because this is a gravity-fed pipe network, I'm going to create the first catchment at the furthest discharge point. You use this dialog box to define catchment properties such as name, style, and runoff coefficient. Because there is already a pipe network, I will associate one of the structures with the catchment. I'll click Reference Pipe Network Structure and then select the appropriate structure in the drawing. When I click OK, the catchment appears in the drawing. The catchment object style indicates the components of the catchment object. A magenta polygon indicates the catchment boundary. A cyan line indicates the flow path. And markers indicate the discharge point, the hydraulically most distant point, and the flow segment start point. The same process can be used to create catchments at the other discharge points. This model's completed catchment group looks like this. Now, the catchments and pipe network can be exported for analysis in the Autodesk Storm and Sanitary Analysis application.